In this video, I want to go over an effect called the earthquake effect. Now you've probably seen this effect a lot, this very um, shaky handheld effect, but I'm going to show you uh, where it actually is and what different things you can actually do with uh, this effect. So I'm going to go ahead and just play it right here. As you can see, this is what the earthquake effect looks like. So if you've seen this effect, you've seen this very shaky handheld effect, that's what the effect is called. It's called the earthquake effect. So let's head over here to the effects panel right here and let's just uncheck the earthquake effect. Now what you want to do is you want to head over here to the effects panel and head over to all. Once you're in all you want to head down to the search bar and obviously type in earthquake effect or just earthquake. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead here go to earthquake and drag it onto the video videos or adjustment layers wherever you're trying to drag this on. So as you can see, I just dragged down the effect and that's what it looks like. It's just called the earthquake effect. So let's go ahead and just mess with a couple of different features uh, with this effect. There's not a lot, as you can see the effects panel right here, look, there's not a lot of like dials, but I'll just show you what you can do. So let's go ahead and turn the amount all the way down and let's see what happens. Surprisingly, nothing happens because we turn the amount all the way down. So let's go, like, let's start with the extreme first. Let's go ahead, boom, crank up the amount. And let's go ahead and show you how bad this, this effect can actually look like. It looks absolutely horrific. So that's what it, it looks absolutely awful. I mean, can you imagine your video looking like that? I think after a while it would probably give you, it get you a little dizzy. So that's what the effect looks like at max volume. volume. That looks absolutely horrible. Again, depends on what look you're trying to achieve. Uh, let's go somewhere in the middle and see what the effect looks like. As you can see, it doesn't look as bad. Let's go ahead and just quickly replay it. So that's the middle. And let's crank it all the way up to the top. As you can see, it's a very big difference. Let's turn it down maybe somewhere here. 70 and see how it looks. That's That still looks a little insane. Um, again, depends on the look you're trying to achieve. Let's go to like 20. Let's go ahead and play it. As you can see, that looks a little bit better. That's kind of the normal... Uh, earthquake effect you'll see but you can see you can just mess with the amount and just how badly you want that earthquake effect highly encourage you to keep it below the middle it again it depends on what effect you're trying to achieve but cranking it all the way up looks absolutely awful awful so let's go ahead and crank up the layers crank it up here a little bit let's see what that does a little bit and then as you can see right here Okay, let, let's let, let for a better perspective. Let's crank the layer up and let's crank up the amount. And let's see. I want to take the keyframe off. So let's crank it all the way up, and then let's see. Let's see how bad this effect actually looks like if we crank the layer up somewhere here. So let's go ahead and play it. That's how bad it actually looks. That looks absolutely awful. So let's go ahead. Put the layer back down here and crank the amount. I don't, I don't think the layer does that much. If you know exactly what the layer does, definitely go ahead and comment it down below. But this is the more important part, the amount. So let's go ahead and bring it down and that looks a lot better. But basically, all you gotta do is, depends on how badly you want to shake. Turning it down to zero obviously does nothing. Cranking it all the way up looks absolutely horrific. So I would say maybe somewhere here is probably where you want uh, the earthquake effect, earthquake effect to look like, but that's what it looks like. So that's what the effect is called. It is called the earthquake effect. So if you've ever, so if you've ever seen that effect, it is called the earthquake effect. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that like button as it just helps make this video more search, uh, searchable and it ranks higher in the search as well as hitting that subscribe button would be greatly appreciated. I'm giving away a Google Home Mini once I reach 1000 subscribers. See you guys in the next one. I upload Final Cut Pro tutorials every single day. Peace.